Good morning, Avon. I'm Sophie Schick. And I'm Marion Begg. Thanks for watching the Oriole Report this Friday morning. We begin with a look at our top story making headlines this morning. Did you know that there was a National Apple Pie Day? Today, Friday, May 13th, National Pie Day is celebrated around the world. And here are some fun facts on it. 186 million WOW pies are sold in stores each year in America alone. The weight of the largest pie ever was baked was 10,540 kilograms. And last one, 47% of Americans think pie is comforting. I'm not part of that 47%, but anyway, let's see if the weather is nice enough for some spooky encounters on this Friday the 13th. Now let's check in with Kenzie for our Avon forecast. Thanks, Sophie. Today there will be a high of 85 and a low of 62 with nice sunny skies. Taking a look at the next three days, there, tomorrow there will be a high of 82 and a low of 62 with pl partly cloudy skies and a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. That might ruin our prom weekend. Sunday there will be a high of 81 and a low of 56 with partly cloudy skies and winds up to 15 miles per hour. And Monday there will be a high of 75 and a low of 56 with super sunny skies and winds up to 20 miles per hour. We will keep you updated all week right here in your or Oriole forecast. Back to you. Mental health is very important to us, and as you have seen, our very own Maria Perez discuss about different topics on mental health. Sadly, it is her senior year, so this will be the last one, but she is back with her monthly segment, and this time on how people's mental health is with finals and the process of it. I'm a little nervous for finals, however, um, past two years that I've done finals, they've gone pretty smoothly, so I'm just going to study, prepare early, and hopefully ace all of them. She's not, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't really mind finals. They, it just sucks because, uh, you know, you could spend a lot of time working really hard in school, making sure you get all your assignments done and all that, and then if you're a really bad test taker or something like that, you get really nervous, and then all that could, uh, it just could completely tank your grade because of the weight they have, so you can go from an A to a C even though you worked extremely hard all year. But, uh, you know, if you're good at tests and all that, then I guess finals is, is pretty nice for you and you get your grades uh, up and maintained. So yeah, they're all right. Thank you. Um, I feel like finals are a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. Um, those super huge study guides that they give us do, uh, they do help for the final, but they're annoying. Um, I wish, I wish they didn't, we didn't really have finals because finals um, go over stuff that we did at the like at the start of the year, and it's like I don't feel like I can remember that. And I mean, I mean that's just me, but it's it's very stressful. Um, finals like affect my mental health definitely by making me a lot more nervous and stressed and like um, anxiety because like I I'm not the best test taker, and when it comes to those, like I just lose like my thought, and I feel like. I don't get the best of grades on finals. I do good in the classes, but um, they definitely they definitely are not fun. So yeah. For me, during the week of finals, I get really stressed and study 24/7, which doesn't give me time to go out. The right way to perceive this is take time to study, but also take time for yourself, even if that means taking an hour break and hanging out with friends before getting back to studying. It is okay to worry and be stressed about this, especially if you're a senior and it might be your last finals ever. But remember to put yourself first and as always, a reminder we have mental health resources here at our school and the people seen at the mental health fair would also be a great help. To end this off, instead of saying, see you next month, this time I'll end up saying, always remember to put yourself first and for the last time for the Oreo Court, I'm Maria Press. And this ends off your mental health segment for the school year. Have a great summer and I hope to see you all again sometime. There is a lot happening in the world of athletics. So let's check in with Maria for an update in sports. Thank you, Sophie. The NBA playoffs are continuing this weekend as we get closer to the conference finals. We have two games tonight where we could see two more teams enter the conference finals in the Bucks and the Warriors. The Celtics go up to Milwaukee to take on the Bucks at 7.30 p.m. On Wednesday, both of these teams played game of five of their series in one of the matchup being a close game, while the other was a blowout. The Bucks were the lucky team to squeeze out of Boston to win in a huge game five. A major comeback with Gi Giannis leading the way with 40 points. The Grizzlies, on the other hand, suffered a devastating game four loss to the Warriors while losing their star guard Ja Morant. 
For the rest of the playoffs, they bounced back, however, with a shocking 39-point win over Golden State to continue this series. Now in Avon Sports, our golf team has a match tomorrow at Brownsburg at 8 in the morning. Tennis has a match at 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. at Terre Haute. And Unified Track and Field has a meet on Monday at 4.30. That's all for sports this week. Back to you. Like the Bucks and the Grizzlies, it's animal time. So our zoo video marathon continues. Check it out here. Choir event Spring Sing is coming up soon. And that means a lot of lasts for a lot of different people. In the choir department, it's time for the last concert of the year, Spring Sing. Spring Sing is our final concert of the year for all choirs. All seven choirs will be performing at this great show. Uh, we honor the seniors, we call them up on stage at the end of the concert, and we give them a gift. And um, this year we have about 50 seniors, so it's a great uh, senior class, and we're going to honor them. At the end of our concert, they get to sing a song um, called The Road Home, and we invite alumni to come up and sing it. And then we end our concert with all seven choirs singing one song all together. Our theme is overcoming adversity, so every choir kind of does a song that has to do with that. And um, some of the choirs that don't normally dance will be dancing, so I'm really excited to see Black and Gold and Symphonic Choir doing some cool uh, dance moves. And then, of course, our show choirs will do their competition shows for one last time. And that's always kind of bittersweet, too, because um, they've had great seasons and they get to perform them one more time for uh, their parents and all our friends and family. The concert is tonight, May 13th at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Tickets can be bought online or at the door and are only $5. Come support the choirs in their last concert of the year. For AHS News, I'm Spencer Scott. Uh, finally, Isaac Brown is here to give us a mental health fair update. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Isaac Brown, and next week on May 17th, Avon High School is hosting a mental health fair during SRT. I'm standing outside of Avon High School. It's going on right now, actually. I'm in the future. We're going to walk right in in a couple minutes, but let me tell you what you should be looking for at SRT and during your fourth period lunches. Some of the booths that will be there are Pause and Think, 913 Sports, the YMCA, and the Indiana Youth Group. Pause and Think is a community-based organization that provides pet therapy services as well as training programs for dogs. Their booth at the fair will include two therapy dogs that you can pet and play with to reduce stress and anxiety. 913 Sports has many cycling programs for all ages. The immersive biking experience is fun for all ages to get in shape as well as relax your body. 913 Sports will be providing a cycling station to help teach people to stay in shape and help you relax. The YMCA is our local, local community center that has a pool, gym, rock climbing area, and more. For Mental Health Awareness Month, they are encouraging the community to talk more about mental health and how it affects individuals. Go to the YMCA website, shown here, for more information. And finally, the Indiana Youth Group has a mission to serve young people who identify as LGBTQ+, and strive to build self-confidence and increase their self-esteem in the youth of our community. If you're interested in any of these booths, come check out the Mental Health Fair on Tuesday, May 17th during SRT and your fourth period lunches to see all of these and many more. For AHS News, I'm Isaac Brown, and I'm going to head on in. Unfortunately, we're done here, and that is all for your oral report. Have a great day, Avon. <laughs>